Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Uh, in today's video I will just show you a extremely effective tip uh, that I haven't really seen anyone show on YouTube before. And in practice it's actually a really you know simple thing. So what I'm talking about is uh, spamming a key. So for example when you open a door you don't want the player to actually spam the door so the door will like glitch out and open close, open close. And also when you crouch, you know, you don't want the player to spam the crouch key and so the uh, character just crouches and goes up, crouch goes up. It looks very weird. Uh, we actually want the player to not be able to spam a key. We actually want to wait for the timeline to have finished before the player can actually click the button again. So for example, when opening a door, uh, we want the timeline to finish before the player can uh, close it. And I see a lot of games that just has the button spammable so players can just spam the door and the sound you know loops and everything like that. And this method is used for timeline events so crouching, zooming in, opening a door, everything that has to do with timeline and you know keys. So yeah let's start. Okay so I will just show you what I mean. So when I crouch right now you can see that I actually crouch down. And then I can crouch up. But if a player spams the crouch button, you can see that it will the sound will loop and the animation will be very weird. So this is my crouch code right here, and as you can see, it all loops to this timeline. And in the beginning, you can see that when I click the crouch button, we use a flip-flop. And a flip-flop is that when I press the crouch button, it will actually uh, do A first, and if I press it again, it will do B. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is to go to your code where uh, you have this problem, and also using a timeline, and then we want to delete our flip-flop, if you're using one, just like that. And then we will just make more space. And right, so, and right now I'm in my VHS project, but of course you can be in any project whatsoever. Okay, so first of all, we want to create some new variables. So just click this add button right here. And then we want to name this, let's say, is crouch on going. And this will also be a boolean. And this is checking if the crouch is actually ongoing. So if the timeline is in its uh, active state. So the timeline has started, but it hasn't finished. Then it's ongoing. Um, so we just want to drag this out and make sure to name uh, this crouch instead of crouch name it to whatever your code is so for example if you're doing this for a door system you want to have is door animation ongoing instead or something like a, a zooming like is zoom ongoing uh, so this is just for my specific code so you can change it to whatever your code is so just drag this out and then we want to drag out of here and we want to get a not boolean. So the crouch in the beginning is not ongoing because it isn't, right? And then from not we want a branch just like this. And from here we want to drag out of the pressed into the branch right there. Right there. So when we uh, press the crouch button it will check if the crouch is not ongoing okay so out of the branch we want to drag out of the false and then we want to get the is crouch ongoing and we want to set this like this and the value will be set to true so if the branch is false the crouch is ongoing so it is true and then out of here we actually want to make a new um, variable so we'll just go to variables create a new one and this will be called crouching for my system but of course you name it to whatever you but of course you name it to whatever you have <coughs> and this will also be a boolean and then just drag this out get crouching and then just do the same as we did right here so we want to get a not boolean like this And the not boolean will go into the crouching, so set crouching. And then this will go into here, just like that. And 
And now after the crouching, we want to drag out of here and we want to get a branch like that. And in the end, you can see that we have a true and false. And this is like a flip flop. So this is A and this is B. And we want A to start first. So right here and we want the false to be right here. And you can see that everything is correct. Uh, just like that. And now we want to go to the timeline. So right here is the crouch timeline, as you can see. And we want to know when this timeline is finished, so the code that we added in the beginning will actually work. So from the finished, we want to drag out is crouch ongoing, like that. And this will be set to false, because it is finished, so it isn't ongoing. And now if we just compile and save and try this out. And now as you can see, it doesn't work. And that's because I did something wrong, so just go back to the code and go to the beginning and instead of false we actually want this to be true. Just like that. So when clicking the crouch button, the branch will check if the crouch is not ongoing and if it is true we want to continue on with the code. Uh, so yeah, sorry for that mistake but now if you just compile and save and try it out again, you can see, you can see that if I crouch and then spam the crouch key, it doesn't, uh, you know, get spammed. So now the timeline actually finishes before the player can click the button. And this is a very simple but extremely crucial step for making a game. And as I said, this works for any system using a timeline. Uh, so, so as you can see, I have also used this system on my zoom, so as you can see I can't uh, spam the zoom key, uh, it actually needs to finish. So yeah, that is just a quick and simple tutorial on how to uh, stop players from spamming a key. Also the VHS project is on Black Friday sale, it is 70% off, so if you want it go down to the fab link in the description. And yeah, I'm sorry for taking so long with my tutorials, but yeah. Thank you all, I love you all, and have a great day.